Lo que sí haré es publicar este vídeo con el otro a la vez. have normalized not just here but everywhere yes the dragon cycle is ended so the void's gone then for good not quite it wasn't lying when it said it was a constant however with the world's magics back in balance it's no longer a threat to us i guess that means there's no need for a dragon's watch huh Unless you need watching, Aurene. I hope not. But you might want to keep an eye on me, just in case. It's... a strange feeling. You spend so much of your life focused on one thing. Once you've done it... Well... Where do you go from there? You take a vacation. A well-earned vacation. Maybe so. Well, I know I'm going to be busy. Busy spreading the news we've entered a new cycle. Ministry of Information can help you with that. Just make sure you get final say on the ad buy. Okay. Thank you. Before any of that, we should take a moment to celebrate and to remember everyone who sacrificed themselves to get us here today. To lost friends. To new allies. To the Age of Aurene. And the cycle of the Prismatic Dragon. To the Age of Aurene! Logros, método de los créditos, reúndelo en todos sus amigos, aliados, el tío tal. It's you, champion, who rallied our friends from the brink of annihilation. I lent you my power because I believed in you. All this time, I've been searching for the purpose of the Elder Dragon. I think I know now. I don't know. Not as different as I would have expected. Something's changed about the lay energy. Somehow it's more... pure. But make no mistake, my champion. As long as dragon magic continues to exist, so too will the void. We only destroyed the form it took. But, at least it won't be ending Tyria any time soon. That doesn't make me feel much better. <laughs> it's stable. Now that I'm... the only one, I can see the ley lines in their entirety. If there's ever a ripple in the Sea of Magic, I'll know. As will you, Zion. And champion. Thank you, champion. I wish I'd had more time with her. I hope I can do right by her legacy. Cass, Jory, you look refreshed. Happy to be back. Happy to have the whole apocalypse situation handled. But I did get a bit homesick for Tyria. Agreed. Though, I wouldn't mind visiting again. See if my sisters want to tag along. A family trip in our future? Maybe. If nothing else, to make them try the tea rites. Taste just like our moms. And we're absolutely plague Yunori, so I can whoop their butts again. Yunori? Don't think I've played. Lucky you've got a grand master all to yourself. As kids, none of my sisters stood a chance against me. Well, one did, but, well, she's not. Yeah. Jory, she'd be glad to see you all still enjoying it. Wish I could have brought her to Canada. The whole trip I've kept thinking, she'd love this. She'd be amazed by that. Well, that sounds like you did bring her with you. In a way, maybe she did make it to Kantha. 
certainly feels <laughs> earned now. The person it's attached to is what makes it impressive. Well, dealing with high-ranking people was intimidating. I'd worry, am I worthy of their time? But as I got the hang of things, I started realizing that not all of them were worthy of mine. It made all the difference. It's worth figuring out who should take up space in your life. Vale, cuando acabe de charlar con todos y de ver los créditos, iré también a por la tortuga. De nuevo, vamos, está por ahí arriba. Commander, congratulations are in order. It's a victory for all of us. You're right. All of us. Oh, sorry, I'm ruining the festivities. Suwon was a light in this world. Let us know if you ever need anything, Kunavang. I will. Thank you. Detective Rama, Captain Min. Show some respect, Commander. It's actually Minister of Security Min now. Rolls off the tongue. Acting Minister of Security. When the dust settles, there's no telling who'll be the top brass. Could be a conic. Gods help us. Commander, is it? I never got a chance to thank you for all you've done for Kantha. Please. I should be thanking you. You helped us with Lee back in Kaine. How ah, about what you'd imagine? A circus. And for the time being, I'm the lucky ringmaster. You'll be a better minister than Lee. Will I? Lee wasn't solely responsible for all of Cantha's problems. In the old days, the Emperor's word was law. Cantha's moral compass was dictated by one man. Or a woman. Or usually a man. Times have changed. We're not exactly a democracy, but our society is shaped by many voices. Aren't you one of those voices now? I am. And I'm not downplaying the responsibilities of my position. There's policies and reform I want to enact that I hope will make a difference. But in Kantha, there's a famous saying, true strength lies in knowing one's own frailty. I'm gonna try my best, but one person can't fix everything. He'll be given a trial and sentenced accordingly, I guess. He was pretty... docile in custody. Told us everything. Even gave up the names of some other prominent purists at the end of the interrogation. You know what he said to me? Please send someone to look after Chobi. That's his dog. Are you saying he's not a bad guy because he's got a soft spot for his pooch? I'm saying he's a bad guy who's remarkably... ordinary. And that scares me a little. The purists are a symptom of an underlying disease. Cantha's changed in many ways over the decades, but it needs to change... more. I think I need a break from the Ministry for a while. Now that Cantha's opened up, maybe I'll see the world. Hmm. Does that mean you'll have to give up the hat? Not a chance. Marjorie was talking about starting something up. Might be nice to go freelance. So that's it, huh? You're gonna leave us mooks while you gallivant across Tyria? I... It's not like that. I just need some time. I get it. You don't owe me an explanation, Rama. Min. That's something I need to tell you. I... I think you're... Great. Great? You... You be a great minister. I mean... Thank you, Detective. Next time you're in town, come say hi. You know the secret now. Ay, ay, ay. Rama, Rama. First Alona, now Cantha. You've got to stop meeting me, <coughs> Commander. I heard you apprehended my trim. That's good. Theo Ashford's husband deserves some measure of justice. I don't think I'll see eye to eye with you on that, but I respect your opinion. Either way, I'm gonna write up my report and head back to Lion's Arch. Oh, I had my pleasures. 
Ilona was a good bit of fun. I'm here in Cantha on official business, but I wouldn't mind sampling the local... snacks. On an unrelated note, who's the gentleman in the big hat? Hmm. I'd appreciate no, an introduction. Vale, este es el de los créditos, ¿no? Correcto. Ahora resulta que le gusta Rama a esta. Madre mía, culebrón. Commander, glad we both made it to the other side. I'll confess, for a moment I thought we were finished. We would have been, if you and Tiny hadn't brought the extractors back online. Backups upon backups. Suerte que hubo exactamente tantos como dragones corruptos. Well. First, we need to assess. There are too many unknowns. The ideal solution would be finding a way to infuse Dragon Jade without the presence of an Elder Dragon. If the thaumaturgical ecosystem allows that, then great. We'll also explore the possibility of alternative power sources. Timey's lending her mind, and I'm promoting Yao to head of R&D. Don't tell them yet. Finally, Oreen's agreed to help in any way she can. For the time being. There's a long road ahead of us, but together, I really think we can pull it off. I took Suwan for granted. She was fascinating and selfless. The world lost someone irreplaceable today. It speaks to her heart that she abided my ideas, even the reckless ones. She stayed in the reactor to protect us all. I'll never be able to repay her for saving the reactor and everyone in Kaineng. I always knew she could do something great. Wherever she is, I hope she found some peace. You again. It's easier to exchange pleasantries under less dramatic circumstances, isn't it? Must be nice, having a little less weight on your shoulders. June, she never asked for help, did everything herself. You've seen what she built, how little she built it with. She doesn't trust anyone to hang a painting, let alone save Cantha. All that is to say, thank you for keeping June alive and for listening to her. She works hard. Mommy helped kill Suwan. Does that make her a bad person? Is she gonna go to jail? Wow, there are a lot of strange looking people here. Qué decepción que no tenga diálogo. Commander, fancy seeing you here. The boss herself called me in for support. I'm kind of a big deal. Or maybe I was the only one available to deliver extra parts for the extractors? I helped June and Timey get everything hooked up, though. The whole thing would have blown without that third screw for the oscillator. See? Useful. Okay, it almost blew up. It vented. Still bad, but less bad than blowing up. We'd be lost without you. Are you kidding? No way! There's too much research to be done. We don't know how much longer the Jade will work. 
June's probably already got a plan, but still. We've got to work fast before the power grid fails. Plus, I've got a personal interest. Can't have this thing quitting on me. Not when I've got the world to save. Innovations to... innovate. When things settle down, I'd like to go to Radasum or the Black Citadel. See what the rest of the world is up to. Oh, it's fine. Still recovering from the reactor incident, but it's fine. Keep him busy with... you know. Been thinking a lot about Mai. I could have been nicer. She was trying her best. Who cares who she was before? I've been there too. After the Brotherhood, I mean. June helps people like me, my Tren. Gave us the opportunity to succeed. Move on. I could have been fairer. I kinda hit out for the part where you killed the dragon. That's not what I do. Though I wouldn't mind learning. Dragon's Watch could always use your help. Though I don't see us watching many dragons after this. Really? Oh man. Yeah, that'd be... pretty cool. And at one point, I climbed onto Rama's shoulders so I could jump up and kick a Void Beast right in the face! Commander! I was just telling Taimi about our adventures. Learning from the monks in Xingjie, investigating the Void like crack sleuths, tracking down and stopping... Anka? Gorik, I've got something I need to say, and I'm just gonna say it. I'm sorry for how I acted about... Anka. Well, she did try to destroy the world. You don't have to apologize. No, I do. The way I acted didn't have anything to do with her plans. I was... jealous. You were... jealous? Of Anka? Yes, I was. Well, apology enthusiastically accepted. Madre mía, cuánto amor yo ya que. You noticed? Yes, I seem to be a bit of a natural, and the missing piece in the Delacroix investigations. Don't get me wrong, Jory and Rama both have great instincts, but I bring something unique to the table. There's been so much breakthrough research in forensic science, and I've read all of it. I mean that quite literally. So, we're putting together what they know how to do with what I, well, know. Criminals of Tyria be warned. The Friends Detective Agency is soon to be on the case. Mm-hmm. Can't very well have this whole place just go dark now, can we? Besides, I'm not ready to give up this suit. Hasn't changed any of the big things. Nothing will, and, well, I'm pretty much at peace with that. But I didn't realize how much the little things were adding up. I've got more energy, I'm thinking more clearly. So I'm not gonna rest until we find a way to keep the Dragon Jade charged. Maybe a little bit of rest. Yes. Yeah. I don't actually mean no rest. My mid-afternoon nap is non-negotiable. But Jade Tech is my first, second, and third priority until we have a solution. Mm, vale. Me quedan esos dos y esta me tiene algo más que decir. Antes no aparecía más diálogo. Ah, vale, correcto. Gods, please don't call it that. I'm trying to nip that name in the bud. But yes, the three of us are considering our own agency. And Ivan offered to um captain for us. So Gorek's a private eye now? Never thought I'd see that. He really surprised me on this trip. In a good way. Guess a few people did. Have to admit, that guy's got a mind for deductive reasoning. And a sharp eye. Is Ivan still insisting on a bust of my trin in the captain's quarters? Yeah, not happening. <laughs> But I might be open to something more... subtle. So you've made peace with her? My trin is... was... complicated. I think I've been pretty clear on my feelings about her as a blade. But when it came down to it, she did one of the bravest things I've ever seen. I respect who she was in the end. Guess that's the nice thing about being an asshole. 
You can always choose to stop being one. El Popas. Oh, I'm healing up well enough. There'll be a scar, but hardly my first of those. And they're good conversation pieces, right? But I'm a little harder to kill than that. You won't be rid of me that easy, Commander. Well, like Dragon's Watch, the primary mission of the Pact is ostensibly complete. There'll be a meeting soon. We'll get all the leadership in one room and decide what's next. While some people are eager to dissolve, others are not so sure the job is done, considering there is one Elder Dragon left. <clears throat> Personally, I think it's also worth discussing how much the Orders have been able to accomplish working together. If I say that out loud, pretty sure someone's going to accuse me of trying to hold on to power. <laughs> well, I've got to deal with this packed mess first, but I bought myself a small place in South Sun a few years ago. Haven't been back since I got it all set up. But as soon as things settle down, I should make the time. Ah! Recognition! Feels like the end of an era, doesn't it? The work of Destiny's Edge has concluded at last. When Su Won left us, I couldn't help but feel the immense pain in Kunavang's heart. It'd be like losing Aurene. That's right. Sometimes I wonder, though, if we haven't lost her already. I know we're not literally her parents, but it aches just the same to watch her drift away. Oh, I know it's for the best that she take her place in the world. I just wish it wasn't so unbearable. Bueno. Pues... Ir hacia ahí, lo hace avanzar. Y me dice voy a jalar la habilidad. Vale, ¿qué me queréis enseñar ahí? ¿Se va a casar? En ese caso habrían indicado. Commander, so glad you're here. We were wondering if you'd been held up by some new end of the world scenario. No, I was just 
not really in a rush. It was a nice feeling. Ooh, I hear that. Hopefully we stay apocalypse-free for at least a few months. Months? Uh, how about for good? No, that might be asking too much. So, why exactly did you two call us here? Not to slay a dragon, I promise. But we'll get to that when everyone is here. Try to enjoy each other's company in the meantime. Marcella. Vale, con par de propiedad. Esto parece unos votos. Claramente. Oh, it's so good to have an excuse to get everyone together. I barely left June's lab since I saw you last. How's that going? Have a long-term solution for Canthus power needs? Not yet, but our experiments are going well. We've found ways to extend the life of current batteries, and Aurene was able to top everything off. We're getting close. I know we'll have something soon, but enough work talk. Let's enjoy the party. What do you think it's about? I gotta guess. <laughs> Hope this isn't going too late. Freeze got me on a short leash these days. Commander, if you have any mysteries to be solved, the Friends Detective Agency is set to launch. Not calling it that. She'll come around. Anyway, we have secured the backing of a mysterious financier. Jory says they want their identity kept secret for now, but she assures us their pockets are deep. Graham, you made it. You never responded to your invitation. Oh, yeah. I wasn't sure if it was a real invitation or if you were just, you know, being polite. <laughs> of course it was real. You're a member of this little family. Nothing's changed. Well, I guess it's a party then. Logan, I didn't realize you were so close to Kaz and Jory. Oh, yes. We've known each other for quite some time. The three of us had... A few late night conversations in this very bar, drinking too much wine and venting about all our responsibilities. Casimir does a surprisingly good impression of the Queen. Ask her sometime, but uh, only after a few drinks. By the way, I'm headed to South Sun as soon as the party's over. I'm looking forward to doing nothing more strenuous than locating the best local gimlet. Brimstone's invited to come along, but he hasn't answered my invitation. <laughs> Rocks. It's been too long. Glad you could make it. Oh, I wouldn't miss it. Hope it's okay. I brought along Frostbite. Frostbite is completely welcome. Though I'm not sure we have any devourer snacks. Oh, he'll manage. Commander, you don't happen to have a mission that requires my particular skill set, do you? Political life, not all it's cracked up to be? More like exactly what it's cracked up to be. Slow, oh, two-faced, yeah. and boring as all hell. Crease in her element. She was born to do it. But me? <laughs> not so much. Couldn't you just resign? With no reason? <laughs> Creed have my hide. Nope. Afraid I'll need a real good excuse to get out of this one. So, if you ever have one, think of your old friend Ridlock. Canuck! <laughs> Not too busy hobnobbing to slum around with us tonight? You wound me, Miss Delacroix. I could never forget the little people in my life. After all, it was betting on your adventures that brought about my good fortunes. And also, I really do like you all. The feeling is mutual. Since you're the last person to arrive, we can get started here any minute. Muy bien, muy presas. Well, if it isn't our local millionaire, Aunque or si van a hacer un beef hanger, el momento es interrumpir esto. But yes, my club is a smashing success. 
I've already delegated its day-to-day -day operations, and it's time for me to move on to my next venture. Which is? Ah, uh -uh. not ready for the big reveal yet. But when the time is right, you'll be the first to know. Rox, how's everything going with the Olmacon? Oh, uh, other than that void invasion? <laughs> Things have been good. We're all enjoying peacetime. I, I've, uh, I've got a boyfriend. Really? That's wonderful. Yeah, he's a life binder and about the kindest person you'll ever meet. I don't know what he sees in me, but he swears he sees it, and that's good enough. <laughs> He's excited to meet you and all, but I didn't want to crash Kaz and Jory's party. Sí, igual quitabas un poco de protagonismo. Siempre pensé que te utilizaron demasiado poco. Bran, I haven't seen you since. Well, have you been feeling any better lately? Oh, um, well, it's a process, right? That's what the shamans say, anyway. I still have moments where I think about. Everyone. But that seems right, you know? If I were to let myself forget them, well, it'd be like their sacrifice didn't mean anything. You've earned peace of mind, Bram. Maybe. And I'm getting there. Every time I think about what happened, I'm less angry. Less sad. I can look back at it more like... a step on the road. Vale, pues creo que tenemos todo. Okay, everyone's here. Well, friends, you're probably wondering why we asked you here today. So much has happened in the last few years. There hasn't been much to count on. But Jory and I realized that through all that, there's one thing that's always been true. Something to look forward to at the end of every long battle. A face like a candle when the whole world seemed dark. Jory, you've always believed in me. Even when I didn't believe in myself. This life we live has taken us everywhere. But as long as I wake up and see your face next to mine, I'm home. And that's why I'm asking you here, in front of all our friends, to marry me. Cass, a life without you is no life for me. You stood by me through everything. Pulled me back from the brink more times than I want to remember. So that's why I'm asking. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes. yes. These two deserve this so Couldn't much. Couldn't happen to a better couple. It's about damn time. <laughs> Wait, didn't we all know that's why they asked us here? Which I of you it actually, was obvious. Or did you both? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Congratulations. This calls for a toast to Kaz and Jory. To, to Kaz, Kaz and Jory. Jory. To new beginnings with old friends. There may be no more need for Dragon's Watch. Will always be a king. To Dragon's Watch! <laughs> to Dragon's Watch! To, to Dragon's, Dragon's Watch! Watch. <laughs> to Dragon's Watch! Y ahora sí, fin. Muy bien. A ver, cositas. Esto ya se desbloqueó. Queda. Operaciones globales en piedra al ah, ah, vale. No sé bien lo que es, pero solo por el bonificador de experiencia lo cogeré. Luego, esto. Vale, correcto. Un reciclable, como no. Ah, un arma que se puede convertir en legendaria. A ver. Lo que uso. 
sea, el tipo este en la expansión es la pistola. Supongo que podría coger la pistola. Esto es reciclable. Vale. Qué problemas de espacio tengo. Prometo que para la próxima habré ah, re, re, o sea, hecho algo con eso. Vale. Pues nada, como dije, antes de cortar, vamos a volver a piedra arbórea. Y vamos a ver lo de la tortuga por cierto ya no parece con la baja ah no, sí que está sí que está, sí ah vale, esto es lo de el mundo viviente bueno Vale, 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 comprendo. First things first. Looks like your little fella's primed and ready to hatch. You see that wiggle? Somebody's got spunk. Right on time. Hey there, pal. Ready to bring ruin to your enemies, huh? It'll take some time before they're big enough to carry you to battle, but they'll get there. Promise. Vale, o sea que tengo que traer pescados. Ah, no, no son solo pescados. Vale, en varias cosas. Y este es uno de ellos. Vale. ¿Y qué más requiere eso? Nada, las comidas. Ah, mira. Vale, vale, con cada comida ya va creciendo. Bueno, de momento el primer paso parece sencillo. Vale, pues aquí queda esto. Ha sido muy divertido este epílogo, la verdad.